If you're wanting to make a change, but you feel a little bit stuck, maybe you've spent a little too long in your comfort zone. Stay tuned. The best way for me to get you into your comfort zone is to take you back. What I'd like you to do right now is think back to your first day on the job. It could be when you were a kid. It could be a job you just started last month. I don't care, but think about that first day on the job because you moved out of your comfort zone and you moved into your anxiety zone. Yeah, you were in anxiety. You didn't know who was who. You didn't know who to trust. You didn't know where to eat your lunch. You didn't even know where the bodies were buried. Would you fit in? Were these people your people? Would they get you? Let's face it, those first few weeks at a job are really uncomfortable because you're, you're trying to figure out where it is that you fit into this organization. So what did you do? You didn't jump right in. I'm sure you settled back, you opened your eyes, and you observed, and you listened. You listened to conversations. You figured out who, who knew the information, who had the right information that was going to help you with the next question. And you took notes. Basically, what you did was you were learning. And the more you learned, maybe for some of you, the longer you stayed. And you got comfortable. Yeah, you knew everybody, right? You knew how this place worked. And it's interesting because the more comfortable we get, the more we kind of go into our comfort zone. And it may feel really good to be there because you know everyone and you know what's going on. But here's the thing. The longer you're in your comfort zone, the more complacent you get. And when complacency sets in, there's no growth. Complacency can kill your business and it can kill your career. Uh, take it from me, I, I know this personally. When I first started speaking, it was interesting because we would have levels of fees. And um, when I got to, uh, when I got out of the free fee and I got into my first fee, it was comfortable and it was easy because I understood it. But in order for me to raise the bar and to raise my fees, I had to up my game. I had to make changes. And those changes that came about were tough and they were uncomfortable. And then I would find that I would be at that level. And in order to move on, I would get that little tap on the shoulder, that tap on the shoulder that said, you've got to move. And many times when you get that tap on the shoulder, you get anxiety. Can I do it? Can I move to the next level? You have fear, but without it, you have no growth. So I believe that fear, many times when we're leaving our comfort zone, is a great motivator. Fear can motivate growth. So here are a couple things that you can do if you're ready to get out of your comfort zone, if you're ready to grow a little bit. Number one, invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. Put time and money into yourself. Maybe that means right now it's so easy. Take an online course or hire a coach. Sometimes we need help and we can't do it ourselves. And we need that support to move us out of the com comfort zone. Because here's what I know, I, I study Jim Rohn all the time. And Jim Rohn is my philosopher who gives me these, these hard quotes and he says, change doesn't happen by chance, it happens by choice. So you've got to keep moving. The more you move, the, the easier it's going to be. Because here's what we know, the world is changing are you. Time to get out of your comfort zone and grow. This is Karen McCullough with another lesson from the road. See you next time. <laughs>